Here's K2EFG on field day in Sunset Park overlooking the Lady of Liberty right over there. You can kind of see her. Here's our station in Sunset Park. Uh, standing here is WA2JNF Stu. I have Juan, uh, PMK, and I got Alan. Alan, say hello. We got a guest of, guest of honor. Uh, Otto, Otto, what's your call sign? WB2IXL. WB2IXL. Here's the promotional material and information about ham radio and also Aries. Here are the two antennas. Uh, uh, as per traditional, we have uh, the 40 meter running, uh, buddy poles running 40 meter. Currently in a dipole configuration, we tried a few. Uh, didn't really uh, work uh, better than dipole since we need directional. Here is a YP3 antenna standing there. Um, also uh, had some problems with it getting very high SWR on the low part of the band very good low SWR on the high part of the band we tried to mess with it but we couldn't uh, we are in this little tent there uh, with the shade I want to show you uh, my charging station uh, the reason you see all sorts of uh, boards out is because we tried different things here is the folding um, station power film uh, folding uh, and feeding the um, the battery chargers. Uh, we're on a first cycle of charging. I'm trying to do a balanced charging. So uh, it's not quite working as well as I want to, but I'm gonna adjust it uh, in a minute. And uh, that's that. And here's our EC right there, WB2NBE, Jojo. Uh, so this is our field day for the day. It's the uh, second day, and here is K2EFG uh, from uh, the station in Sunset Park, uh, Brooklyn. Here's our station here. Juan, say hello. Hello. You're gonna be on YouTube. Here's Jojo doing making progress on 40. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, on the body pole. The body poles seem to be working very nicely. Not so much luck with the YP3. Uh, 20 meters is not helping us, and somehow uh, some tuning issues. But uh, we're getting good SWR on the high part of the frequency on 20 meters. Uh, the park is amazing. Look at this. There's people doing Tai Chi there with flags and swords. The people dancing over there. Sunset Park is very Asian. The Asian community here in Brooklyn is very uh, well established, and I'm um, getting a lot of uh, uh, civil action here, civil civil activities. Uh, here's the station uh, from a different uh, angle. Uh, we see uh, W uh, KC2 NBE um, and uh, Q1K there uh, helping him. They just worked 40 meters on the body pole, and uh, just another look at the. What's going on here? There's some people doing uh, some sort of martial arts. This place is hopping, and we're just part of the part of the fun. Uh, we have a little uh, booth here, uh, and uh, that's our uh, situation. Here's the uh, charging station. Uh, I'm balancing now based on uh, the Zantac charger. I'm balancing uh, one of the batteries. I charged it some, and now I'm balancing it um, with the uh, cell pro uh, uh, box. It looks like a jungle of mess, but a uh, jungle of wise, but it's actually pretty well organized. Uh, this is it. Uh, K2EFG in 2013 uh, field days. Okay, K2EFG here. Just looking at the charging station, I just want to point out that we switched batteries. It's about an hour later, maybe 45 minutes later, and we're now charging the larger battery. Uh, the one that just walked for us about three hours and before we drain it we decided to charge it again at uh, about 12.5 volts just so it's up. Let's take a look at the settings. I'm doing a balanced charging actually. Uh, it's about 66% full and the cells are about 3.3 uh, volts each so it's about uh, 12 volts or so, 12 and a half volts each worked very nicely we want to give it a rest we took some of the smaller batteries switched it out and we're going to continue to operate it's a very nice operation on 40 meters we're enjoying 40 meters on the body pole just good old dipole antenna uh, setup we really are enjoying it uh, we're also doing better with the yp3 but still the body pole is really winning the day uh, very very exciting um, and here is k2efg in field day 2013 Seven with second time we worked uh, 40 meters on that body pole we got great results it's a tough uh, day for uh, 40 meters there's a lot of QRM yeah but you know we got a, we got in there we got yeah. a few uh, contacts all over the eastern seaboard so
Yeah. Pretty happy with it. Yeah. You got uh, you got to tune it. Was that okay tuning it? On yeah, it was 40 easy. It was pretty yeah. easy yeah. with a with analyzer. It's yeah. like a lot yeah. easier. Okay. Got to get me one of those tools. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Jojo KC2NB. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, EC for Air, for Aries uh, Kings County in New York. So, thank you very much, Jojo. All right, this is it. Field day is over. Uh, we're actually leaving about 45 minutes too early. We had a great time on 40 meter. I did not expect that based on last year's results, but Buddy Poe really brought the day through. I'm really happy. As you can see, the YP3 is already gone, but we continue to operate on 40 meter. Uh, notice the, um, the counterweight there at the bottom, and here's the Buddy Poe fully extended. Uh, we wound up using it in with rotating arm kits, but we found that the um, the uh, vertical, the horizontal uh, dipole solution worked for us best. We did really good, and we're very happy about this. Observe that we can't use stakes because this is a public park, so we wind up using these um, these uh, sand sacks, and they were pretty good. It's a little windy here, but we didn't feel any uh, difficulties, and it's a little bit in the slope, so. We had good reception and we had good uh, good work. We filled up a log. We're very happy about it. Here's our shack, our temporary shack. Um, observe that I'm using a, I'm using a, um, the uh, power uh, the power solar from uh, X Power. It's charging a battery here. Uh, the battery uh, almost cut off at 9.6 volts. So I decided to charge it right away. Uh, with the balancer so I have a really uh, avoid damage to the battery uh, so here it is uh, the buddy pole field day 2013 is almost over and uh, this is a k2fg uh, wishing you well 73